YouTubes. I got a call for a walk-in box that's down. It's going to be Labor Day weekend. That's usually when I get a ton of calls up here. Back in the day when I was uh, <clears throat> worked for the local shop, I would always take Labor Day weekend as my on-call. Probably for 20 years. And I would crush the overtime. as kind of like a goodbye to summer type thing. Um... Uh, and I would do that so the guys could always have have that week. They could always plan that weekend off. And uh, I would stick around here and work it. And uh, that was back in the day. The last few years we've gone on motorcycle trips. I kind of did the motorcycle trip a, a, like a week early. And I'm gonna I'm gonna work this weekend, Labor Day. Where I'm gonna guy got evaporator coil to change out either Sunday or Monday. I haven't decided which day yet. Um. I'm going to pick that up and get that built out. Maybe we'll make a video on that. But right now, let's get out. we got a walk-in box that's down. And they need it for this, for the, it's Friday today, and they need it for this busy Labor Day weekend. Let's get out there and take a look. I got the lid off. Look, there is an old Raiders sticker on there. Someone painted over. Jimmy G, baby. Um, let's see. Yeah. Right Rusty old side glass, maybe. Let's go turn this thing on and see what it's doing. Got it turned on. Commander fan motor sounds terrible. I need to gauge up on this thing. Sounds like it's running. gauge on it see it looks like all right let's see if we can gauge up on this sack of junk
much luck here. Damn it. Buster coming. Oh, we got it. That's saying it's an old R12 unit. Who knows what refrigerant's inside of it. I'm gonna have to take a look at the expansion valve. But the suction pressure, way too high, even for any type of R12 replacement. But tell me the valves in here are roached. Okay, it's got a newer Dan Foss. 134A TXV with the little cartridges. So we definitely got bad valves on this compressor, so I'm gonna have to get them a new condensing unit. So, new condensing unit, I gotta repipe it, get it to fit inside of here. Um, and that's how that's gonna go down. What I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and then I'll recover this before I leave to go pick up the unit, but I gotta make sure the parts house has a unit. I got the green light for the unit. I'm gonna recover it before I split. Let's do this. This is how you work out of a minivan. It's like, everything's like Rubik's Cube. Little system. Nerd. The Nerd recovery machine's been really good. The Nerd. Yeah, extension cord department. snagged that's about how my fishing career goes right there just nothing but a snag side on the outlet and we'll bring this whole party over here see that A little stacker my short hoses close close closed gonna make it on there. Let's see. Go for a little purge. There we go. Chunking straight off the um, 
the high side right now off the receiver. Okay, good. I got these semi secured. Do some house cleaning up here. I don't even think this thing was bolted down. Nope. doing on our suckage looks like suckage is going good yep getting down there double suckage all right there's my process starting I got to clean up this wiring I got that cleaned up under there this, this thing is old timer she done she done she done all right, I spared you guys all the noise, but I got my shop back up here and cleaned all this up. Uh, I'm gonna make a whip, whip it good. For the wires, I'm gonna get that prepped. For the new one. Okay, I got the unit recovered. Got it on the ground. Made a new whip. Got it all cleaned up. Got the fitting ready for when I get the unit. I might have to cut it back. I'm not sure yet. Got my lines cut back, taped off, because I got to go get the unit. And I like to do this if I have to run to the parts house for a new condensing unit before I leave the job site. It just... Dude, you know when you come back with the new one, you're ready to go. I've already checked. The TXV is newer, so I'm not going to replace that. I would recommend if it's an old TXV to replace it. Um, what else? I'm trying to think what else. It's about it. Recovered, removed. Uh, and that's about it. Let's go get the new unit. All right. On my way to pick up the new unit, I'm going to drop the old unit off at the scrapyard here scrapper special all right got gear i'm all loaded up I'm just leaving the supply house Break. there it is back to the job to go do some slaying oh yeah if you're wondering what my soundtrack was going to get parts it was the cult. I love that band. You're the Sun King, baby. Let me take you by the hand. Oh yeah, look at this. Racer got Chevy versus Tacoma. Racers. All right, she blows. funny the last one I had like this that we put on that solar trailer you didn't have to silver solder this one you do it's weird how Copeland does it this is a killer feature right here you want to split your SJ cord put it in there give her a turn 
You're a little snapper snapper. Boom, all the wires are good. Nothing sliced or diced. Isn't that nice? Love this little knife. I'm gonna go hockey stick up right to there. Put a swedge in it, bend it around, and in. And I'm gonna make another bend. See how this turns out. Coming, coming together. Let me jump up here. Let me do some eyeballing. Yeah, brother Harley Davidson. Mm -hmm. Back there, yeah. Looks like on the liquid line, I'll only have to make one, one weld. Two welds, one on each end, that's it, for the whole thing. Looks good. There's the liquid line is fitted. You can tweak with it so you don't get a rubber dooski anywhere. Make sure there's no rubber dooskies. I was gonna do that one. Now I gotta work on this suction line. Figure out how I want to do that. All right, I got my vacuum pulled. Getting ready to charge this thing. I still need to insulate my suction line, but that's how that kind of came out. Like that. New pressure switch, new condensing unit. Came with new star components. Had to put this T in there, I hate those things. But there's no rubber dooskies. No rubber dooskies. No rubber dooskies. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. All right. A 45 degree box. I just got the sight glass cleared. Took two and a half pounds. I always like to weigh it in. And we were at a 24 degree evaporator and 104 condensing. I got the field piece probe inside the box. Those are always nice. And we're gonna watch it come down here and check it out. And I think we're good on charge. About two and a half pounds. I checked it to make sure I'm not overcharged by closing off the king valve, watching the pressures. As this comes down, this will climb slightly and then fall with the suction side, the high side will. And next thing I'm gonna do is just set my thermostat. And that's about it on this one.
Mother Nature, you bitch.